He was one of the greatest directors ever. What's wrong, honey? They don't appreciate me. Ooh. All of them, the critics, the audiences, the DPs I put out of work because I insist on holding the camera myself. Oh, honey. That's it. I'm retiring. <laughs> no. Steve. Did you read the new script I sent you? My bother. Che, Haywire, the girlfriend experience. They only like Magic Mike because I had cock and contagion because I killed Gwyneth Paltrow. But, Steve, you're one of the greatest directors in Hollywood. I know, but it's too late. They don't deserve me. I'm retiring. No! It's time I explore my other interests. We've got a code red! A code red! Alright, here's the cure for cancer. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Soda. Soda, 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 mm -hmm. soda. Mm -hmm. Woo! Steve! You're back from solving that diplomatic crisis in North Korea already? Yes, and I'm ready to come out of retirement, but on Soderbergh's terms. Thank God, five studios shut down while you were gone. Hmm. I've got your next project. Right here. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Hollywood is saved. I should call somebody. Somebody? You gotta press line one. Oh, shit. What is it, nine to get out? Thank you so much for coming out of retirement. <laughs> and I forgive you for the love child you had in Australia back in 09. Sweet. Enjoy your beer, baby. Everybody, uh, welcome to the Film Pigs here on Geek Nation. Uh, if you don't know, uh, this is a web series. It's uh, the only web series on the web, period. And uh, because it's the only web series on the web, it's the only place on the web where you can hear people talk about movies, which is what we do. We talk about movies. Uh, I'm your host, uh, television's Todd Robert Anderson. Uh, I'm here. Uh, oh, thanks. I applause. That's nice. I'm here with my very special guest. Alexandre Antoine. How you say my name? <laughs> I've really, I've really been guys. working on that pronunciation. Yes, I can tell. The other uh, film pigs, uh, Steve Falk and Steve Skelton, are not here. Steve Falk is uh, off uh, uh, doing an important live show somewhere, and uh, Steve Skelton is uh, in Poland. We Black actually Black. tried to Skype him in tonight, but <laughs> it didn't work out because uh, I guess the internet doesn't really work in Poland. Their infrastructure is weird. Um, so uh, we're going to start the show. Uh, oh, do you have your popcorn? I have my popcorn right yeah, here. Yeah, there it is. There Cheers. it is. Yeah, here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Extra butter. That's good popcorn. You guys, you know, viewing tip. This show is way better if you have it with popcorn. In fact, I recommend having some popcorn before you watch it and then during the viewing and then after. You're going to need about a half bottle of popcorn to really enjoy the show. And a counselor. Indeed. Uh, so we uh, do this segment, and every show it's called Rash Judgments. And what we do is we talk about the movies that are coming out this weekend in the theater. We let you know whether or not you should or shouldn't see them. Now, the fact is, is that we have not seen these movies either because we're not special critics and they don't invite us to the things, but we still tell you what we think anyway because we're jerks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So uh, we're going to start with the first rash judgment from our pig in Poland, Steve Skelton. Steve? Well, hey there, everybody. My rash judgment is for Dark Skies. Now, this is a horror movie that's like a poltergeisty uh, thing that's terrorizing the family of uh, Felicity's family. It stars Felicity. Uh, except the twist is it's not ghosts, it's aliens. So it's kind of like a wah wah premise. Uh, it's done in the Paranormal Activity style, which is because it's produced by the Paranormal Activity folks. I'm not a fan of those movies, although they also did produce Insidious, which I did like. 
Uh, and J.K. Simmons plays, you know, like the who was normally in these horror movies, the medium who knows stuff. He's the UFO expert who knows stuff, um, who will probably explain why it's pointless for them to leave their uh, uh, small uh, suburban home because the aliens will just follow them. So they might as well stick around in this uh, small, inexpensive to shoot at location for the entire movie. Dark Skies, I, I don't know. I'm going to wait for Todd to get this one on uh, Blu-ray. Okay, thank you very wow. much. That was very exciting. Yeah, very, it was very exciting. exciting. Poland is just fascinating. The way his place looks. Yeah, it's just, it was actually beautiful. It's so unlike uh, it is here. Well, unlike how he lived here. Yeah, so. well, that's, uh, that's true. <laughs> I think he it's actually much upgraded. Cleaner there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's go to our special guest, Dre, and see what uh, her rest show. What's your uh, yes, rest show? The movie is Snitch, uh, starring uh, Dwayne Rock. Johnson. The Rock. Dwayne, Dwayne the, the Rock, Rock Johnson. But Johnson. I think he's dropped The Rock. Oh, he dropped The Rock? Career. He's only The Rock when he wrestles. Oh, now. so now he's Dwayne. So he's Dwayne. He's just Dwayne Johnson. Okay, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. DJ. I think. Yeah, okay. Well, the five names that he has, he's in it. He stars in it. It's supposed to be the movie's inspired by true events. Um, it looks interesting. John Bernthal is in it, the guy from The Walking Dead, Shane from Walking Dead, and I love him. So I would definitely go see it because of The Rock and because of John. It looks interesting. The action looks good, but I feel like the only action scene is that one scene with the truck. Yeah, it's you tricky. You know what I mean? It's, it's a tricky trailer. Showing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't they, think they don't have, there's not a lot of Susan Sarandon in the trailer because yeah. the movie has probably got a lot more talking talky, talky than, than action. Drivey, drivey it's not shooting. Fast and the Furious 6. Yeah, so it's false advertising. I think it's actually going to be more serious and less action than what it is, but since we people are <laughs> so stupid, it's the rock. Like, we see violence, <laughs> yeah. so we're going to run and see it. But I definitely would see it because I think it's got a great cast, and since you said Sarandon's in it, I I'm think. all down. I mean, I could so. be wrong about that. Well, I, I mean, if you're wrong, then you owe me more popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> Red wine. But all right, drugs. but yeah, so I'm going to go see it. All and right, I think good. you should do. All right. And then we got one more rash judgment from our other pig named Steve. Steve Falk is going to tell us about a movie that's uh, indescribable or indestructible or indefatigable. <laughs> Steve? Hey, guys. Well, my movie is Inescapable. It stars uh, Josh Jackson and Marissa Tomei and some fella. And it's a, uh, it's a thriller about uh, uh, Syria, and they kidnap some dude's daughter, thinks she's a spy, and then he goes over there, and uh, uh, Josh Jackson does something, and then Marissa Tomei is like uh, Syrian or something, and she has an accent. And uh, there's a lot of punching. There's a whole mess of punching, because I think they couldn't afford squibs, because it's a really cheap looking movie. And uh, it looks like it's a very self-important political thriller, but it doesn't look very interesting to me. I would not go see it, I'm out. Yeah, this is short and sweet. Okay. Wow, he really got through that quick. He normally yeah, talks a lot more. I know. Maybe he had somewhere to go. Yeah, maybe. He, <laughs> he had to go to a show. He was in a rush. Well, that brings you us to the like end. Thanks for walking. <laughs> I, sometimes I do. I slip into it. I watch too much walking. It just it's in there. Um, so that's Rash Judgments. Uh, uh, now, um, a few episodes back, uh, we uh, gave you the very first episode of the long-running Film Pig series, Theater Etiquette. Now, we are going to reboot it. And so this is the first episode of the long-running reboot of the Film Pig segment called Theater Etiquette. So let's go to that segment through a series of fancy wipes. <laughs> Wipe. Hi, welcome to Theater Etiquette. As you know, I, Todd Robert Anderson, am a huge fan of going to the movies, but I'm also a parent. And it's very difficult being a movie fan and a parent, because how do you know which movies are appropriate for your little ones? How do you know? It's so hard. The MPAA rating system is so muddy and weird. It's hard to navigate. And you don't want to be that parent who brings a kid to the inappropriate movie and makes everyone else around you really uncomfortable. So I am here to demystify this MPAA rating system. Let's look at these ratings right now. The first MPAA rating we need to discuss is the G rating. Now, really, you can forget about this rating because nobody makes G-rated movies anymore. So forget about that. Uh, next up is the PG rating. Now, this is a rating for parents who are overprotective of their children and they don't want to expose them to any of the realities of the world. You know, if your kid's kind of a wuss and you don't want to scare them, you take them to PG movies. Next up 
the PG-13 movie. This is a much better rating than the PG rating. The, the violence tends to be more graphic, the characters use coarse language, and occasionally you might see a titty. Now, it's still not the best as far as education is concerned, but it's good, it's better than the PG rating. And, uh, you know, so, you know, if you have one of these kids that needs to be coddled, you take them to a PG-13 rating. But the R rating is the one you really want to look for if you want to be a responsible parent. Because these things have incredible gore, gun violence, bullet holes. They got, they got characters dropping F-bombs. They say shit. Sometimes they even say the C word. If you take them to a Tarantino movie, they drop the N-bomb all the time. This is the stuff that your kids need to see. And then there's nudity all over the place. There's boobs, and sometimes you see Bush in the weird Soderbergh movies. Sometimes you'll see a cock or something. This is the stuff that your kids need to see if you want them to grow up and understand the real world. If you want them to succeed as human beings, they need to see these R-rated movies. Finally, we've got the NC-17 rating. Now, this rating is, is really tricky because they don't let kids under 17 see these movies at all. They're not allowed in. And I do not understand that. That, that. that is horrible, horrible censorship. That is the government getting in our business because our kids need to see these movies. But you can rent them. That's the upside. You can rent them and show them movies like David Cronenberg's Crash so they can see how to have orgasms while automobiles are folding into each other. And this is the stuff that turns children into major successes. If you want to be a responsible parent, get your kids to see NC-17 movies as soon as possible. There it is. That's the MPAA rating system in a nutshell. All right, little man, come on in. It's movie time. This is my five-year-old boy, and he loves the movies. Dad, is this another one of these movies about a crazy killer with a hatchet and hates really attractive teenagers for some reason? <laughs> of course it is. Nothing but the best for my boy. Can't we go to see the cartoon movie playing next door? Don't question my parenting decisions, boy. But, 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 it, you, you know what that sounds like? Sounds like whining. And you know what happens to whiners? They lose their gumdrop privileges. But they soon realize it's coming after us. They just fucked with the wrong Mexican. Action. Sir, do you think he might be a bit young for this movie? Do not tell me how to raise my child! You better make damn sure the bad guy. Remember, you're the parent and making the right decisions is up to you. This has been Theater Etiquette. Shetty. Rated X. Well, that was, that was, I hope, very helpful for all of you. Uh, I, as a parent, like to impart important yeah. lessons to other parents. Yes. And uh, it's, it's serious business being a parent. So, yes, and you know, don't try that at home. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, be careful at home with, when you're parenting. <laughs> anyway, uh, that brings us to the end of uh, this show. <laughs> Which has certainly been a very fun show for yes. me. Has it been fun for you? It's been fun, stress-free. It's been great. I would like to thank the uh, two Steves and, of course, Alexandre Antoine. Oh. Uh, I am Todd Anderson, and uh, this has been The Film Pig. So enjoy your movies, enjoy your popcorn, and... <laughs> validate. Uh, yeah, validate. You're yeah, send cash. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the only validation that works for me anymore is cash. Well. So send me cash, truckloads of cash. He'll do whatever for it. Yeah, just way. send send it. Care of Geek Nation, armored trucks, bags of cash. And there's your next movie right there. Oh. What do, you, what do you mean, like a heist picture? Yeah, I could start out with you're getting bags of money, you have no idea. And then it's someone steals from. from me? Well, it could be like a Great Expectations, but like 2013 version. Great Expectations. You right. know. I don't remember anything about that book. <laughs>